Hey, happy Saturday morning. Sorry for the, if you hear any background noise, but I got the heater going because it's freaking cold in here. It, I don't know what the temperature is outside, but it is cold. Um, somebody was really bad this morning and went running off. Huh, Copper? He's overlaying in his kennel sulking because he's, he's in deep trouble. Anyway... Um, I don't know how many people are going to find this relevant, but I figured I would make a video about how I go about using Character Animator, Adobe Character Animator, to make scenes for movies, or cartoon, or whatever you want to call it. Now, understand that I am a beginner, <laughs> and... This video is for beginners. You may have more advanced skills than me, and that's fine. You can watch it for interest's sake, but if you're not going to get anything out of it, don't waste your time. However, if you're a beginner, the one advantage of being taught by another beginner is I go over everything. I watch these Adobe, like I open up my Adobe apps, and they've got these tutorials that are freaking impossible to follow for me anyway maybe they're not for you but for me it's like it's going 100 freaking miles an hour going blink, blink, click 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 just looping over and over and i'm like looking at it going what the hell are you clicking on or even a lot of these videos that you know they have on youtube they'll say well click on this well, where is that because i'm not seeing that in my menu it says click on this open this but they don't, look, you don't just tell me what to do. You got to tell me how to do it. As a beginner, we have no, see, people learn, and this is the thing that people, not everybody is cut out to be a teacher. They really are not. People learn by putting one frame of reference upon another frame of reference. Until you have, <laughs> until you have this frame of reference, you can't, <laughs> here we go, fish story. Uh, you can't understand this until you get this, right? You've got to build one frame of reference upon another. At least that's how I learn. You, you, this is why I think it's a total waste of time when these tutorials or instructions go over 3,000 different things. Well, this is for this, 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 this. You know what? It does no good to do that. And people that do that obviously do not know how to teach. Because you, you go over everything like a blanket covering everything all at once. You think we're going to remember all that? Oh, hell no. It's better to start with one simple thing, go step by step by step by step. And that's what I'm going to do with you today. So if you're a beginner and you're, you're trying to learn this stuff, I don't know how many people are going to find this video useful, but if one person finds it useful, it's worth doing. Because I just get so frustrated with these either written tutorials or the tutorials within the apps, which are worthless. Adobe, your tutorials suck. You need to put them down on the bottom level for beginners. And not go 100 miles an hour showing a loop video of clicking on 15 different things. All, all I end up doing is sitting here going, ah, what the hell are you doing? You need to go step by step by step. Not only tell us what to do, tell us how. Click on this. Okay, where is it? Under what heading? Is it under file? Is it under edit? Is it under, you know what I'm saying? Go up here. Bring down the menu, click on it. That's what you need to do. So we can follow along. Because as a total beginner, we don't know where anything is. We really don't. We don't know where a damn thing is. So it's like you go click, 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 click. And, uh, you know, and, and, and so many times... I go up to my menu and it doesn't match because they've got their menu structured, you know, according to how they do things. 
because you can move stuff around and manipulate it. And so my menu doesn't always match. You need to go from the basic menu, step by step, tell us where it is, click on this, step by step by step by step by step by step by step. That's how you teach. You have to build one frame of reference on another frame of reference, former frame of reference. That's how people learn. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Character Animator. I'm going to show you how to do a green screen. And if you already know how to do that, that's fine. I'm going to show you how I figured it out. I tried following tutorials, and it's like, there's 15 different ways you can do this. I just want one. What's the easiest one? What's the easiest way to do it? That's all I gave a care about. I don't care if there's 15 different ways. All I need is one. And I need the easiest way to do it. So I finally figured, just figured it out on my own. All right, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a character. I'm going to make a film, or, you know, record. And then I'm going to go into CapCut Video Editor, which I love CapCut. And it's free. You know, it, 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 I've got all these fancy. I've got like DaVinci Resolve. I've got Adobe Pre, Premiere Pro. I've got uh, uh, Cyberlink. My Cyberlink, which I wish I hadn't renewed. Because I like CapCut a hundred times better. Although Cyberlink is good for like music and sound effects and stuff like that. If I need specific sound effects, a lot of times, you know, CapCut doesn't have the array that Cyberlink does, but I pay for Cyber Cyberlink. It better have them. So anyway, what I'm going to do, I am going to switch to the screen mode. Alright, get this out of the way. Alright, you see my wallpaper that I made this morning? Ain't that pretty? That's pretty. Alright, so I'm going to go in, I'm going to open up Adobe Character Generator or Animator or whatever. Adobe Character Thingy. Adobe Character Animator. And hopefully it won't take forever to open. Alright, and hopefully it'll go to the one. I, there we go. Good deal. It went to the one I had open last. And you notice here is the, the camera and microphone. The mic works, but the camera doesn't because the camera is being used by OBS Studio, which is what I'm recording with. So it can't be used for two, two different things, so it's not available. Otherwise, I'd show you that it, you can it'd be up there and it, it can actually mimic my mouth. It would show my mouth is outlined like in green or whatever, my head and everything. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you first of all, how to put this little chicky poo. Her name is Dina. That's the name of the puppet. It's just the name that popped into my head. There's no specific reason for the name. All right, so now what I want to do is, let me show you what I did. I go into Microsoft Paint. Okay, and I've got a rectangle about the size that I need. And so then what I do is I go up here and I hit the fill, but then I but then I usually darken it just a little bit. All right, so then I've got my green and save it as green screen, which I'm not going to do now because I've already got I've already got it saved. All right, so but that's what I do, and then what I do is I go up here to file. I put import. And then I go to my file that I've got the green screen and just click import and it imports it into this list here. All right, so I've already got it, so that's why I didn't. So now I've got it right here. You can see I have it highlighted. Now, I've already got Dina down here. If she wasn't down here, all I would have to do is go up here and grab her puppet and drag it down there. Then it would put it, put it there. So now what I want to do is I want to take green screen, I just left click it, and drag it. Now it's down here, okay? But I don't want it on 
top. I want Nina to be on top. Otherwise, she won't show up. Now, how do I get the green screen? There may be an easier way to do this, but this is how I figured out how to do it. I went over here to transform. You see where my cursor is. Now, there's two different transforms. There's transform puppet and transform background. All right, so what I want to do is I want to click on <coughs> transform background. And hopefully it will open by tomorrow. Sometimes I have to click it several times. There we go. All right. So, transform background. So then what I want to do is I want to go all the way down here where it says opacity. All right. I'm going to change it from 100 to 0. Once I do that, the green screen shows up. All right. Now, I can record something, and then I can export it. However, for some reason, in Character Animator, even a very, very short clip, it takes forever to export it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here to record, because it will record the audio. I'm a material girl in a material world. Yeah, la, 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 la. Now, um, you know, she mimics my mouth, which, even though the camera's not showing up, it can still read what the camera's doing. And so she will talk. She will talk. And if it's wor camera's working, I get her to raise her arms and stuff, but apparently that's not going to work. All right, so that's all I need. I just wanted a short recording. All right, so now that recording's going to show up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it back to the, do the slider and take it back to the beginning. Or you can always go, go like that too. It's just easier for me to grab it and pull it. So now we've got a recording. Now, I could export that and it might take a day or two. <laughs> so, here's what I do. I have got a, a screen recorder. It's called Debut Video Capture. NCH software, which a lot of times I don't really care for their stuff. Now, this isn't free, but it's only like a couple bucks a month. Or you can buy it outright for like 30 bucks, which I may do. But I wanted to try it out for a month first to make sure I liked it, which so far I really, really like it. I really do. All right, so then what I do is I've got this at the beginning so I can play the clip. I hit record, and of course I've got three, two, one. All right. So then I do hit the play. So, now, then I go in here to my recordings. Oh, you know what I need to do first? I need to delete the one I did. I did a whole tutorial already. But then my screen, you could only see half the screen, so I'm having to do it over. That's all right. All right, so then go to my recordings. Save as... I'm just gonna I'm just gonna save it to desktop. I'm gonna put Dina. Test. That's what the other one was named to. But I deleted it, so. Alright, so then what I usually do is I go in, I don't like these stacking up, so I get confused which video is which, so I just re I just delete them as soon as I get done with them. Alright, so, get that out of the way. So now I've got right here. So now, I've got my video. So now what I'm going to do... I'm going to move this over here so it's easier to get a hold of. Alright, so, so far yet, you following me, what I did there? 
Okay, now I could export it, but I just, it's easier and quicker just to do this. So now I want to go into CapCut. And let me tell you, it took about 10 minutes to open on my older computer. So it is pretty good on this one. So I click on New Project. All right. So. Uh, where is it? Oh, here we go. All right. So I import that into here. Now, what I want to do first is I'm going to go in my wallpapers and I'm going to import one now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it I imported I just pull you drag you just drag it I just drag it from file explorer drag it into here I love I love CapCut <laughs> you know what's funny is I almost uninstalled it when I had it on my other computer and decided to keep it and boy am I glad I did because it is I mean, I've got all these other ones. Like I said, I've got DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, Cyberlink, you know, Lightworks. This one here is the easiest one to work with, especially when you're dealing with keyframes, which we'll get into. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that. I'm going to put it down here. I can take it or I can just drag it down there, either one. Now, what I want to do is I want to, in, if it's a picture, why'd you do that? I can drag it and make it as, as lengthy as I want to. You can't do that with a video, but with a picture you can. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put her down there. All right, so then what I want to do, now in CapCut, what, the easiest way to do this is you go over to, you're on the video, you go over to cut out, okay, you got your green screen, so you just hit chroma key, chroma key, chroma key, chroma key, nose picker, or color picker, hit that, and then you just do the strength, and you get rid of it. Okay, now, the one thing I don't like is it's got, ah, See this keyframe line, and I don't know how to get rid of those. I really don't. I don't like them. So what I what I can do is I can make it bigger. So it gets rid of that frame. I can downsize it a little bit. I don't want her head hitting the ceiling there. Poor girl. Knock her out. Okay. So, okay, it's still hidden, so that's good. All right. So, you know, all I did was, you want to resize it, I click on this, and it brings up the box where I can resize it. Or I can re also resize this, too. Sometimes, sometimes pictures don't cover the whole frame, and you can resize them. All right, so now I've got her and I'm playing the video. Now, I want to add some other things to this. And so I'm going to go in here, desktop, uh, video assets. And I'm going to go down and find my time machine. I think this is the one. Nope, that's not it. There's one that I got rid of the white border around it. I can never remember which one it is. It must be this one. Yeah, I haven't totally, but good. Okay, now what I can do is I want it to start right here or wherever, wherever it is I want it to start. Now what I want to do, here's what I want to do. I want it to start out small, get bigger as it gets to here, and then flies off into the wild blue yonder. 
So here's what here's what you do. And of course I can lengthen this because it's a picture. All right, so now I've got it right here. So then you want it, don't stay in cutout because I've done that by mistake before. <laughs> it don't work. All right, you go back over here to basic. All right, and all you have to do is that's the first position you want it to be. You go over here and hit the keyframe. Boom. That's position number one. Now, position number two, I want to be right here. And I want it to get larger. And what it'll do is it'll make it progressively larger as it goes. See, so then I add another keyframe there. Now, I want it to fly off through this hole. Okay, so then I move it again, all right, I make it as small, I'm going to get up here first before I make it too small, put it right over that hole, make it as, as small as I can get it, because it's supposed to be flying out of it. All right, so then I add another keyframe there. All right, and then I move it ahead, like a couple, and then I you just grab it and make it whatever length you want. So now what it's going to do, it's going to be flying out from here, get big here, and then fly off through the hole, just by adding those keyframes. Oops, I need to get... And if you got it highlighted, those things are going to show up. All right, so you can just click, click down here and get out of there, so that way it'll... Okay. That, cool, huh? <laughs> All right, now. Now we're going to have something else. I'm going to try to do the same thing I did here that I did in the other video that didn't turn out. Um, I'm going to hear my green screen... I'm going to, but I want to yeah, let's see here. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do the same airliner that I did. All right. So now I'm going to bring this down here. I want it to start right there, right here. Now, I want it going this way. I want it going like left to right. So I go down here. I right click on this. I go to edit, mirror. That has it going the other direction. Okay, then I go over here to cut out, chroma key, color picker. And try to get rid of that green as much as I can. So I'm going to put, I'm just going to slide this a little bit. Okay, now I want the initial position. be right here so what do I do I go up here basic position and size boom all right now I want to move here now the closer you move them together the faster it goes because it goes choo, to the other side but if I want it to well, if I want it to go to medium speed I'll pull it and put it about right here all right and then what I will do is I'll move this. Right there. Okay. Move this a little bit ahead. Now what I can do, I can either resize it, or a lot of times it's easier just to go ahead and split. This icon right here is splitter. And split it right there. And then just hit delete and it'll delete. Make sure that that's one selected though, or it'll delete the wrong thing. All right, so now we've got it flying out the hole. It's flying across. Okay, now what I'm going to do is actually when it gets to about right here, I'm going to have a flying saucer come in and hit it. <laughs> now, one thing you can do is you can you can you can stack these. All right, so where's my uh, okay? So I bring in my UFO. All right, and you've got to get it down in the timeline before you can edit it too. Just 
So what I want to do is I want to put it right here. I want to go over here to cut out, chroma key, color picker, click on that. So, okay, now I want to resize this a little bit. So now I'm going to put this here. Go back to basic. Hit the keyframe. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to undo that. Okay, so I wanted to hit it a little bit. Okay, I need to move it a little bit back because I want it to hit about hit it about the middle. All right, so then I go back here, keyframe. See, and I look where the plane is. Okay, once I get right there, then I'm going to move this like this, and then. It's keyframe. All right, now I'm going to have it hover for a bit after it, you know, making sure that the plane's okay. I'm going to have it hover. So I'm going to move this right here. I'm going to, I'm going to put it in this position. Hit another keyframe. All right. And then if I want it to hover a little bit more, I can just go like this, keep it in the same exact position. Hit the keyframe. And then, when I want it to fly off, I move it up here. Oops, gosh dang it. I hate it when it does that. All right. I want to resize it. And it's going to fly off up here. Hit a keyframe there. So now, once we put it all together, time machine has flown off. Okay. Ah. Okay. I'll move it off back up. Just to... All right. So once we get to right there, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the effects. I'm going to find the explosion one. Which it may take me forever. I don't remember which heading it's under. You'd think I would by now because I use it a lot. Oh, there we go. Okay, and I also want... Audio. So I'm going to put that right there. All right, see how that works. And I'll drag that to the end of the video. Okay. Now we can do something else too. We can I right, just we can do whatever we want, you know what I'm saying? All right, it flies off. Okay, now, let's go, I'm going to find, oops, I hate it when I go to click on something that moves the menu on me, that just drives me nuts, I hate that. Shimmer. Alright, so, what I want is I want to find, like, a flying butterfly. 
something, or we can do a dragonfly. I want, I want to find one that's animated. Okay, currently I haven't downloaded that one yet. Alright, so I'm going to bring this down here. Why did it put it there? That's not where I put it. All right, again, well, I guess I guess it doesn't matter. We can have it, and I want to have it flying at an angle. Oops, you know what? I need it over here. have it where I can see it. <laughs> All right, so keyframe, that's the beginning position. Here's the ending position, which I want to be over here out of the frame no I didn't put a keyframe here I don't know why I put one there oh no 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 all right see the closer you put them together the faster it goes all right so there we go I thought it flapped its wings. I see it here flapping its wings, but I don't see it in here. All right, so we can do one more thing. I mean, we can do whatever we want. I'm just showing you. So let's then go back here, and I'm going to have another green screen thing. Let's see, let's find something cool. Uh, where's that one? These are all my... <laughs> you know what we could do? Okay, we could have all of a sudden a waterfall appear on her. Okay, so this is not green screen, but what we can do is go back here to cut out, chroma key, color picker, and then I pick the black, which doesn't work as well. Yeah, see, I don't, the black doesn't, nah, I'm going to have to find this one again with the green, because the black just doesn't. I haven't been able to get it to work worth a crap. Okay, so uh, let's go here. There was one I was looking for that was kind of cool. Uh, huh. 
Uh, let's see, here we go. Fog smoke. Okay, this one I'm not using, so I'm just going to bleed it. Okay. So now, we'll go core picker. Strength. Get rid of that. So the butterfly goes, and here comes the fog rolling in. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll go over here to split. Because I don't want it to be super, super long. Now, I can also bring in something else. Fog. Oh yeah, this one's cool. Again, and I make it bigger just so you don't see that keyframe. It's not always possible. But sometimes, you know, it just okay. I'm gonna make it a little bit stronger. Try to get rid of some more of that green. Like I say, can't always do it. Alright, so again, I'm going to go over here. Alright, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm just going to show you, know, hopefully, you know, do enough repetition. Rep, repetition. repetition. Um, let's see here. Oh yeah, this is kind of cool. And this will just kind of like show up. From a key color picker. Get rid of that. Okay, I want this down further down here. So, yeah, I, I hate that. I wish that keyframe did not show up. Yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> it kind of makes it look like it made her disintegrate. Alright. I wish I could get rid of all that green and still make it look decent, but... Alright, so... Now we've got our... So then what I'm going to do, export, this thing exports really quick. So export, I'm going to put it into my current working video file. Okay. I'm going to put Dina video effects. Okay, it's 45 seconds, 59 megabytes, it tells you. Uh, 1080. Now, I can also do it at 720, or I could do it. I could do it at 2K or 4K. 
but 1080 is fine because basically YouTube videos you can't really do any more than 1080 at least last I knew you can do uh, regular other videos like in 4k or 2k or 4k but YouTube you can only go up to 1080p I believe And this actually exports pretty fast. It doesn't, um, well, put it this way, the other ones that I have, the other video programs, Cyberlink does pretty good. But the other ones are, are they're fast, but they're not, CapCut's very fast. I, I really like it, and like it's CapCut, C-A-P-C-U-T. CapCut.com, and you can download it, and it's free. There is a paid version, but um, they actually got now they've got, they've got uh, type to text or text to type, you know, so you can uh, do captions for your videos and stuff like that. Which I haven't tried that yet. I may. I just really haven't thought of it when I was putting videos together. Alright, so now, I'm over here to my current, do you know this, do you know video effects? All right, let me go. Let me go back. And start it over because for some reason the video shows up later. Okay, here we go. Alrighty, so anyway, I hope that you got something out of this. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know, and I may or may not know the answers. But, you know, I think that beginners, I really think beginners teaching other beginners is a good thing because cause I am down on your level if you're a beginner. I'm not one of these people that's an expert who just goes, here, click on this, click on this, click on this, you know. I really wish people would understand it. I could go on griping about that forever because it's just, it's so frustrating. And hopefully I didn't do the same thing. Hopefully I tried to go step by step. And like I say, you know, if you want to know more about, you know, give me like, okay, when you went over this, at such and such time stamp, whatever, you know, ask me and I'll try to explain it a little bit better. Hopefully I explained it well enough that if you want to do something like this, and like I say, I'm just a beginner. I'm just now trying to start to learn After Effects, which is totally confusing to me. I've tried several times to start going through tutorials on that and finally got frustrated. And, and to keep from smashing my computer and hunting down the people who were teaching it, smashing them. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, hope you got something good out of it. Hope you found it interesting. And... Like I say, if you have any questions, just let me know. And I'll be glad to try to answer them at least, even if I can't. So, anyway, catch you later.